Actually, we spoke with Biker Jim, owner of Biker Jim's Gourmet Hot Dogs, and he took us into his kitchen for a spooky feast perfect for your little monsters. If people don't know about you or your restaurant, tell us a little bit about yourself. I've been known as Biker Jim for 15 years now. Kind of odd having an adjective in front of your name, but uh, naming the restaurant Biker Jim's Gourmet Dogs sounded way better than Jim, the guy that lives in the suburbs, Gourmet Dogs. <laughs> we got started on a hot dog cart. Uh, I got really lucky in finding some great products. I'm relatively charming, so I was able to, uh, to sell some dogs to a lot of people. The food was good. Uh, we know for customer service and we've been able to bring people in for you know, the business started 15 years ago and the restaurant's been open for almost 10. Wow. And I have to say, Biker Jim, you're definitely underselling yourself. You are very charming and your hot dogs are incredible. So we do love you here. Thank you. Now, you have created a spooky meal that's fit for Frankenstein. So what's on the Halloween <laughs> menu this year? Okay. So I, I wanted to do stuff that I love and is easy. I mean, I generally will, I, I eat kind of like a cross between an eight-year-old and a soccer mom. Tonight we're going a little more eight-year-old. So what I'm gonna do is bat wings, so blackened chicken wings with a uh, Bloody Mary marinade for them. Start off with um, making wings, hot sauce, kind of the, the old easy standby. Use whatever, uh, whatever hot sauce you like. I'm glugging in most of a bottle of this stuff right here. And I'm throwing in some hoisin. Um, I like to give it just a hint of sweetness because this is not going to be a really mild uh, hot wing all the way through. It's it's called a bat wing for a reason. So it starts out hot and gets a little spicier as we go along. Uh, touch of Worcestershire, easy peasy. And then I have some black gel food color. Uh, don't need a lot of this stuff. It's going to take this beautiful mixture of hot sauce and a couple of spices and turn it into sludge in about two seconds, which is lovely. Quite there good you go. a little bit. You can see how black and just sludgy it is. Um, it, it looks weird and please, please, please don't get any on your clothes. Don't use plastic bowls. It'll stain them. Use metal, ceramic, whatever you've got. Wings, fat wings. Pitch them on in there. Honk them on in there as they say and uh, give them a stir. Now, I'm gonna toss these in the fridge and let them marinate for at least three or four hours in that. Parchment paper, really handy thing to put in the bottom of a pan. You could use aluminum foil. Parchment paper is easy, cheap. Uh, they're gonna come out, they're gonna be just black as night. Oh, wow. <laughs> Sludgy looking things. They look weird. They look like they might be kind of gross. Um, but truthfully, they taste just like any chicken wing that you're used to. Um, but they're super fun because it's hot meat, right? Exactly. Uh, I'm cooking these at about 400 degrees in a convection oven for about 25 minutes or so. So give me one second. I'm going to pop these in, pop the other ones out. We'll see how they look. And they don't stop looking weird just because I'm taking them out of the oven. <laughs> they're still there pretty black and all. Wow. And look at that skizzle too. Oh my gosh. It makes it look so beautiful. Wow. Food is okay. good. These are jicama and parsnips. So I wanted white uh, bone-like veg to go along with this guy. And I, I love both of those, but I never really think about using those when I'm making, uh, making wings, something on the side of wings. But since we're going black, I kind of have a black, white, and red theme going here. So I figured I would just keep that up by pitching these guys in here. Now, this sauce that I made is a, uh, it's, it's basically a Bloody Mary reduction. I put in just a touch of uh, cornstarch because I wanted it thick. I don't know if you can see how thick they came out. Let me see. And delightful. <laughs> so. Beautiful. Looks delicious. Thank you, Biker Jim. What fun. And send us your pictures because we want to know how your Halloween feast turned out. And go grab a dog from Biker Jim's Gourmet Hot Dogs if you haven't done that yet. They're delicious. They're downtown off of Larimer. Learn more online at bikerjimsdogs.com. And be sure to tune in tomorrow because Biker Jim continues his Halloween celebration with dessert and a spooky drink.